Hello there, world of tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Drudels Blitz, and in today's video, I am going to be talking about the best bundle I have ever seen, legitimately ever, in World of Tanks Blitz. What am I talking about? Well, this morning, I logged on to my account, and I had this pop up. The best discount. And in this bundle, for $3.50 USD, you get... A Bad Company Legendary Container, which has a 5% drop chance for a tank. You have a Bubbling Cauldron Container, which has a 6% tank drop chance. You get five of them. And then also this, a Halloween Tank Certificate, which, as we know, Wargaming gave away for free just a couple days ago. And this event gave you one of these four tanks. So if you wanted to possibly get the Dracula or the Pharaoh or any of the tanks that you don't have, now you have another opportunity. And even if you get one that you already have, you're getting 2,500 gold or 1 million credits for $3. Honestly, the two container offers themselves are worth around $3. The fact that you are getting a guaranteed tier 7 included is insane and that's not the only bundle there's a second one as well for six dollars usd you can get once again a guaranteed halloween tank certificate giving you another guaranteed tier 7 1 million credits or 2500 gold and not only that you get three bad company containers another five bubbling cauldron containers 1500 gold guaranteed and you get more backgrounds and I don't even know what this one is, the Witch's Glare. Either way, both of these bundles are worth it. If you have these pop up in your game, I would highly recommend to cop the $10 and get both of them. Why? Well, for $10, let's say you get two duplicates and you get really unlucky. You're getting 5,000 gold there, plus another 1,500 gold here, plus another couple of crates here and there. I would say in total, you're probably getting close to maybe 10,000 gold worth. For ten dollars if we make our way to the store we can see how much ten thousand gold normally would cost and it's equivalent to around fifteen dollars but just the fact that you can possibly get a dracula or a helsing for three dollars is insane so i can tell you that this is a really good bundle i would highly recommend to consider picking it up out of all the tanks available in the bundle Personally, I can say that the Dracula and Helsing are really the major two that you would want to get your hands on. We can do a quick game in both, and uh, I'll showcase why these vehicles are so, so strong. Now, you won't get the legendary camo for the Dracula, but honestly, I kind of like the base camo for the Drac as it is. The vehicle features this red underglow, which you'll probably see when we actually get into battle, around and in between the spaced armor. And not only that, but it looks like a bat, which it's supposed to, because Dracula turns into a bat, so that's the whole design. I think it looks really cool. The Dracula has a lot of great capabilities. It is the fastest power-to-weight tank next to the M41D. It has an incredible top speed for the acceleration it features. It has 10 degrees of gun depression, 225 damage per shot, 260 mils of premium pen with Cali, which is crazy good. That's enough to cut through a Tiger II frontally. And when you pair all of that with the fact that this vehicle is covered in spaced armor on the sides, on the turret, it means that that smashers and kv2s anything that would normally try and pen you with high explosive is actually going to have a rather tricky time the dracula is essentially a tier 7 amx cdc but unlike the cdc this tank is actually really good where the cdc is pretty mid so here we are after one minute in queue we are in our game and up against us we have two hellcats then we have three mediums a type 58 t26 e3 eagle 7 and an ltg all right so well we are going to start this game off by making our way to the middle of the map and we'll see what we can do you'll see exactly where i'm gonna go because it is a fantastic position but you can see that red underglow i was talking about you can see it underneath the uh spaced armor there it's actually pretty cool we are gonna head right over to this spot here and the reason why is because with the mobility we feature we should basically spot anything that is going over towards this flank of the map so if they have heavies or mediums or anything but you'll notice that 
the pharaoh is detected on the other flank, which means that already I can quite confidently say that their team is going over there. Okay, well, let's head on through. I think my sensitivity's messed up, but I could, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It seems a little bit off, but I'll have to mess with that after today's video. I'm going to flank fully wide. There's really no reason not to. They have to... Ooh. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Hellcat. There you go. Nice 272. Is he going to randomly come back after being shot? No. Sometimes these players will randomly come back after being shot, and it's really goofy. All right. Well, there goes that player. Um, let's see if that other Hellcat's over here. He is. Hello, Mr. Hellcat. Oh, what am I looking at? No, no, no. I'm not going to shoot the Helsing because he doesn't see me. Oh, now he does. Uh-oh. The Helsing finally opened his eyeballs. I do have support, though. I have the Helsing over here, so it's not like I'm completely out of support. Really? That was cringe, bro. All right, let's try again. Three, two, one, and a bonk. Nice. 200 damage shell into you. Helsing got shot. We're going to aim it on him. And another nice shot. You can see that the gun on this vehicle is actually really nice. Like, its DPM isn't anything incredible, but the actual uh, accuracy is not bad. And look at this thing's mobility. We are chilling at 65 kilometers per hour. Like, no tomorrow. We're going to get right behind this Type 68, and then we're going to ram him full speed, dealing 160 damage. This tank is actually surprisingly good at ramming, and because of that, you're going to deal a lot of damage when you do ram your opponents. So we're going to get right behind this LTG, and we're going to get another shell into his tank. It also reverses pretty quickly, and the LTG dies. So that was a pretty good game, and you can see just why the Dracula is one of the most fun tier 7s available. It's fast, it's mobile, it has great, solid, uh, you know, gun characteristics. It really is just kind of the jack-of-all-trades. And while it does lack in armor, it makes up in every other category. I mean, look at that pen, 250 millimeters of APCR. That's crazy good. So now we're going to swap from the Dracula and go over to the Helsing, which is also another absolutely incredible tank. The Helsing features great damage per minute. I think it's actually like 2,600 DPM, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, 2580 DPM. That is a lot for a tier 7 tank. So not only does it feature incredible levels of damage per minute, it also has really good mobility, reaching a top speed of 60. It has troll armor, however, also not very good armor. Don't When I say troll, that doesn't mean go frontline. It means you might get an occasional bounce here and there due to the way the turret has its mantlet designed, the upper plate gets auto ricochets. It's got troll armor. And when you pair that with the double shot gun it features it is one of the most fun tanks to play in tier 7 it does 200 damage two two times in 0.25 seconds so it goes and then that's it 400 damage what's really nice is because this tank shoots individual shells the high explosive is insanely strong it does 300 damage so normally your high explosive on a 400 damage gun like an is for example rolls around 500 damage sometimes 515 uh you know for like the chieftain for example is 515 but this tank it has 600 because it has two separate shots so if you get to any lightly armored vehicles like the enemy hellcat you can deal over 600 damage in a single he burst and then in nine seconds get your shells back so here we go let's see what we can do also sorry about my alexa i have company coming over today all righty well let's see what we can do anybody gonna cross would not surprise me oh there you go well we hit one of the two shots that's what's kind of interesting about this vehicle because it features a double shot mechanic if your first shell misses you still have the second shot which you can hit so we have the wz 1 which unfortunate the one thing you'll notice turret traverse is awful so when i'm trying to roll around this corner and shoot the wz because the turret traverse is so bad it's actually sometimes a little tricky to get the shell out oh we penned one of the he on that wz and you can see how we rolled 300 with it not too bad at all all right well uh let's see we got the vk moving up i'm gonna use this vk as cover and then i'm gonna move up myself bonk bonk bye bye easy clear into you now we have the dracula who's probably going to shoot oh he's trying to shoot me look at this little rat look at him well you're gonna have fun dracula because you're about to lose 384 and now the vk is gonna push you have fun all right well his game's already over let's see what else we can do 
I really don't want to waste a shell on the Dracula. But I guess I don't really have much of a choice, do I now? The Hazard is pushing our blaze. Ow! That Basoto freaking nuked me, bruh. He wasn't even there a second ago. Well, you know what? We got 390 damage back into his tank, and now we go into cover. That Basoto probably didn't enjoy our company all too much anyway. All right, well... We reload, and let's uh, see if we can get some extra damage out. We have the hazard, and bonk, bonk. Well, you know what? I'll take it. 189 damage is still pretty good. You can see how the double shot mechanic is equally good and bad on this tank. The good is that it does do a decent amount of damage when you pen your shots. The bad is that, you know, occasionally RNG won't love you, and your shells won't go exactly where you want them to. I would assume at this point we are probably undetected, but there's also that AMX over here who is staring directly at me. Ooh, yeah. Get poobed. We weren't even spotted. I'm very surprised he was looking at me, but I'll take it. Not bad at all. Our, uh-oh. Our VK has left the position that I was at, though. That's not very good. All right, well, let's see. We got the Basoto, who's not looking at me, so we can aim it on the v the AMX. There you go. 340 damage. Nice. Okay, the Tiger's left, and I am worried about that Hazard making his way behind me. But at the same time, uh, I'm just going to move over here. Oh, the Hazard did not make his way behind me. He is still sitting in the enemy spawn. Interesting. Well, let's back up and uh, let's just chill over. Oh, that guy got pooped. Okay, let's just back up a bit. This rock is in a really unfortunate position, but it shouldn't matter too much. Let's aim it on that Hazard. Load gold. I got one pen. That's still 200 damage. We're up to 2,800 already in this game, which is pretty solid. And... We're going to reload in just a moment. We're going to aim it on this hazard again. Bonk, bonk. 343. That brings us up to 3,182 damage. Now, the only thing that is a little unfortunate about the double shot mechanic is that if you low roll... Well, I was going to say, if you low roll both pens technically, you can have a 50% damage reduction because you're shooting two shells both with their own RNG. But you can also technically high roll both of them. So instead of dealing normally would be like 500 you can roll even higher this tank is really fun i mean you can see 3182 damage top on the team very little effort i would highly recommend to think about getting one of these bundles especially the cheap one there's really no excuse to not pick this up it's a great deal you're guaranteed to get a tank 2500 gold for three dollars is an insane steal let me know in the comments what you guys think and i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye